Okay, so this is the second activity, parents, for today. And for this one, I know before we use like crayons or anything, but I would really use paper. So if you have paper and you could cut it or rip it, it's fine. As you see, my lines isn't perfect for this. But we're going to concentrate on two shapes that we've been covering. the Not the circle, but the triangle and the diamond to see the side so we could clearly see the sides when we do it this way so we're going to have the shape visible so you can have the shape because i know some of us have purchased the shape cards the flash cards already so if you have your flash card take it out and some of us have our well we all have our study chart with the shapes on it so to make it really visible that that's what we're doing you can use the dry erase marker marker and circle it because that's the one we're going to focus on so we want them to be really focused on what shape we're doing so we're going to have four of these cutouts and we're going to use say how many sides are there for the triangle so you can use they can use or you can use the dry erase marker and you can trace it one two three so how many sides do we need? They'll say three. And you can even write it again, three. So let's count three. One side, two side, three side. So we have too many. So we're going to take this away. And now we are going to make our triangle with the three sides. And then you want to see if they can on their own do the triangle with the paper, the sides. And if they can't, you can model model it for, for them because this is the first time they're really doing it on their own or using their hands a lot. So we can model it for them and then tell them, okay, now it's your turn. And then they say one, two, three. And then we wanna do the same with the diamond next. So we want to do the same with the diamond, have our four up, four pieces of paper up here, ask them how many sides, count them, show the number, do we have four, count them, will they say yes or no, turn it around, okay, we do have four, so now we're going to make our diamond, so then you can model it first on how to make the diamond or they can do it on their own first depending on where they are as learners and then that's the diamond then we can count one side two side three side four sides and that makes the diamond four sides and then after we're done with everything now we want them to make it on their own. Let's see what you remember. How many sides does the triangle have? What will they say? How many sides does the diamond have? What will they say? If they answer correctly, can you make the triangle on your own now? Can you make the diamond on your own now? If they cannot, we know that's something that we have to keep practicing with them on. And that's the assignment for today.